Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of The Have and the Have Nots Season 7 Episode 5. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, a uh, welcome back. Now y'all, I think Tyler Perry is doing this on purpose because you can't tell me that several of the scenes of this episode did not make sense and he just changed it up on us and I know he does all of the writings, but I'm thinking he's starting to do this on purpose. Now, when we're at the table read, does anybody else, you know, put up their hand to let him know that this don't make sense? Like, hey, you know, at the end of season seven, the lady who plays Catherine's like, I was shot. I was actually shot at the end of season seven, but now I'm reading that I didn't get shot. Yeah, that was one thing. And the dude that plays David, um, yeah, I would have my whole back blown off, but somehow I'm running around and I'm an excellent marksman. That don't really make sense. Like, is anybody raising their hands to let him know that this don't make sense? But anyway, we starting off this episode with some more stuff that doesn't make sense. Firstly, why are he over here bragging to Catherine about how he didn't shot Jim dead? He's happy about that. Catherine, she is old shit like, oh my word, no. My husband, he gone, he, he gone, y'all, he gone. Yeah, she doing all those things like, couldn't I just wake up from this nightmare? Just wake up, wake up from this nightmare. Why he's still over there talking about some, he can't wait to go pee on Jim's grave and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay. So, we just not gonna, Tyler, you just gonna let this happen? And like, men and f male and female in the same jail area? We, yeah, this how I do. So, I guess in Tyler Perry land that the inmates just is in all one area. We don't have like a level for the men and a level for the women and a level for like the extreme violent people and stuff like that. We don't have that. Like everybody is just thrown together. Now I could see if this conversation was going on when they was booking the, each one of them why it was getting booked and Catherine was getting booked and he was doing all this mess. But they are in an actual cell and this is going on. He is literally across the cell from her. Him being male, she be, she, her being female, they in the jail together. I was like, that didn't make sense at all, but I have to remind myself every time, this is in Tyler Perry land. This is a Tyler Perry show. It's not supposed to make sense. Anyway, moving on. Over to Benny. Somehow the kidnapper knows that Jim is alive. I guess he got some people all around, you know, some people went to the hospital and they was like, yep, Jim alive, he good, but Benny, he have conscience and he want to talk to his mama because his mama going to be worried about him. I'm like, Benny, you were in a kidnap situation, like, he not trying to accommodate you, what you want, you know, a nice bed now, you want to just be like, um, kidnapper, I no longer want to be kidnapped, so can you just, un, you know, unhandcuff me and I can be on my way? And the, the kid are going to be like, you know what? Nobody has ever actually done that. In all my years of kidnapping people, no one has actually been polite enough to ask, can you let me go? But anyways, he's like, you're going to call your mama and you're going to tell your mom you're all right. So Benny calls Hannah and he, he's sounding all half conscious and everything. And not sounding like himself, but he said he wanted to talk to Candace. Now... He says Jim is Jim got some people holding him and they want that money. Now, Hannah, she want to call the police because, you know, we got to get the police involved. This is what we need to do. But mention Candace trying to let her know that's a bad idea because they will kill Benny and take the money. So this ain't not a good idea. But she think Candace is running game on her and Mitch in on it. Like, go to the bank and get that money. Now, I'm like, uh, yeah, Hannah and slash Tyler Perry. Did y'all forget that the money is not in Candace's bank account? Did you forget that it's in Benny and Hannah's joint bank account? Did you forget this, Tyler Perry? Because I did not. I remember how it went down. When she stole the money from Wyatt, from Oscar's computer, Charles was trying to get with her at that time, and he, like, did something to where she couldn't get the money out. So she had it transferred into the crier account. And 
Um, she had Benny to put it in his account to keep it safe, but she didn't know that Benny and Hannah had a joint bank account together. So now she can't get access to the money. So I guess Tyler Perry forgot that, but now she looking at Candace like, you need to go to the bank and get that money. Like, first of all, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. The bank ain't open. And second of all, the bank money is not in her account. Yeah, all these just not making sense at all situations. Now we're moving over there to Charles. Landon, he has an idea that we're going to make um, Candace sympathetic to the world in the world's eye. Like he pulled up, some, he pulled some favors in his article saying how she was raped and left her dead, but she, you know, she fought her way out. Oliver didn't know that he was going to do that. Oliver got a new haircut because, you know, he had that. I don't know what the situation you call it, but he had that going on. But now he can get that, you know, cut down good. So now we're going to make Candace look like a victim and, you know, Charles look like the hero. But, but later has to let Charles know that, yeah, Candace robbed the attorney general, but she didn't know who he was. And this is why he's out to get Candace and you at the same time. Like killing two birds with one stone type of situation. He don't like you, don't want you to be president. He don't like Candace because Candace robbed him. So it was like a win-win situation. So yeah, that's what happened and that's what went down. Charles, he was like trying his best like not to think about Candace. But when he had talked to his friend... I can't think what the dude's name was supposed to be on the show. But he played Elvin from um, the Cosby show. He was like, he in love with Candace. But dude was like, you like a project. You want to, you like to save people. And Candace needs to be saved from somebody. But Charles was like, he in love with Candace. And I was like, you can't help who you fall in love with. Mm. Now y'all, I told y'all, I told my husband last week. I was like, when Jim was over there getting shocked and everything, they was got the defibrillator out on him. I was like, watch next week. Jim is going to be sitting up in the bed talking mad trash. And sure enough, Jim was sitting in the bed talking mad trash. Now, I was like, so, last week, you know, they was having to shock him because his heart stopped because of him getting shot. This week... He's sitting up talking. No going from, you know, going into the ICU and making sure everything's fine. No, he's sitting up. He's talking. Having full-on conversations with Jim. I'm like, really? This this, this what we're doing? Okay. He over there um, trying to get out because Catherine in jail. And she's been pampered all her life. And she don't know how to handle jail. I'm like, okay, why is why is Jim concerned about Catherine? Because these two clearly cannot stand each other. I believe that they hate each other. So earlier she was all concerned and sad and just, oh my goodness, my word, Jim is gone, Jim gone, Jim gone. And now he's concerned and he's trying to get out of the hospital bed and go make it to Catherine to make sure she all right. Like, what's going on here? Maybe he was high. Because they did have like a little morphine drip, I believe it was. They had that going on for Jim. So, we're going to say that's why he was acting not like himself. But I'm like, why are these two concerned about each other when they clearly hate each other? But anyway, but now we find out that Jim was shot in the shoulder. So, trying to get this in my mind how this worked. Now, I don't remember where Jim got shot, but I didn't think it was in the shoulder. But, you know, this is Tyler Perry land where everything goes. Like, you can see somebody get shot in the gut. But, you know, come back the next season, they didn't get shot in the gut. They got shot over their head. This person who has no core strength was able to catapult herself back into the tub and do a twist. Where she's facing head down. This happens in Tyler Perry land. So I'm like, so you got shot with like a half shell bullet and it went into your shoulder. Like that should, I mean, that looked like it should have been an in and out wound. I don't know how bullets work or if it was even that. But I just want to know why was he flatlining last week from this little shot. But, and you know, they didn't have to, you know. You know, you know, shock him and you know, the fib and all that stuff. But this week he wide awake. But remember the words, Tyler Perry Land. 
So Hannah wants to go see da um wants to go see Jen, but um David has a guard outside the door because Celine wanted to see him. Now Celine there because she I guess she needs some money for her kids, for her and Jim's kids. I didn't lay down and make these babies by myself, so you're gonna help help me take care of these kids. That's where she going at it with, but when the doctor comes out, Selena's like, I want to see him. I'm a family friend. He was like, no, 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 you don't you work here? She was like, yeah. He was like, well, you got to get permission from your supervisor to, in order to see Jim. But she was like, okay, I'll be back. And he was like, um, should I, you know, put a guard outside his door? He, Jim, um, Dave was like, yeah. And you can fire her too. I'm like, oh, really, David? She want to see Jim because she needs money to help take care of their kids. And now you're trying to get this woman fired? Mm-mm-mm. So... Hannah shows up, but the girl's like, you can't come in. And Mitch is like, I got this. So Mitch is like, you know Rose Malone? He's like, yeah, everybody know Rose Malone. I'm her grandson, so you're going to let us in, all right? See, these last few episodes, what's his name? Mitch has been using the Malone name. They don't want you to be a part of the, you know, the crew, with you using the Malone name so much. You can't be like, I don't want to be a part of that life until I need that part of life, that part of life to help me. And it's always because of Benny. He has to use the Malone name so many times to get Benny out of trouble. A few seasons back, when um, David had their phones cut off and was messing up their phones, Mitch had to go to Grandma Malone to get David to back off. When um, um, what's his name? Mitch had the dog on maneuver around and pay off Benny's debts to the Malone. Last week he had to bring the Malone crew there to the dog on the strip club to get some answers. Now he got to use Malone name again. I'm like, they gonna be like, you you ain't gonna just gonna be out here using the Malone name and not want to work with us. So you gonna you, you gonna have to come on over here, or you you ain't just ain't gonna be using Malone name no more. I'm like goodness. So, Candace slaps Jen to wake him up, talking about some where my brother, where are my eight million dollars at? Give me my eight million dollars. Then he got to talking about I don't know what he was talking about, but he was like, um, about how um some thugs that Candace knew killed Lil Quincy, and don't you think it was strange that? Not one of them shots got Hannah, not even grazed the shoulder or ankle or pinky or none of that thing. But all the bullets got Little Quincy. So I don't know if he was saying that I was responsible for a Little Quincy getting killed or I don't know what he was saying. I was confused about that. Can y'all help me in figuring that out? I was like, what is he talking about? Because Candace seemed surprised and Hannah wanted to know what was going on. It kind of seemed like he was saying that Candace was responsible. I was like, ain't no way in the world. Candace loved Lil Quincy. She put him in foster care so he could be safe. And away from Quita and her doggo raggedy tail. And be away from Big Quincy. But I don't know if Big Quincy was dead at that time or not. I don't know, but that's not the point. So, I'm not, what is she trying to say? That, like, he was responsible or what? I like y'all. But wasn't it War and War's people that, that shot up the hotel room? I think it was. So, I don't know what Jim was talking about. Or he was just trying to get in her head. Or was he trying to get, um... Hannah to like look at Candace some type of way because she all she was already looking at Candace some type of way like this this is your doing you trying to do this on purpose you trying to run game on me it's just like I'm not trying to run game on you like me and Mitch we from the streets we know how the streets roll you want to call the police and you gonna end up getting Benny dead that's all but like I was confused about that last little part but if y'all knew what was going on please by me let your girl know. So, y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means. Oh, George went over to see um, Veronica and her raggedy tail. Nothing came of that. But that that was a gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. Swim my beautiful face. Puts up a video. You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my people. 
if you are a radio family member and one of my people, and I call my subscribers my family member and one of my people. So if y'all was wondering, like, who's family member people? That's what I call my subscribers. So if you are already a family member and one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. And this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.